Sonia Grayson Newman and welcome to another video, another style video at that. I recently took a trip to Zara. Now my local Zara is Zara Southampton and I must say that must be the smallest, smallest Zara in the whole land. You know, I've been looking online and seeing things that I'd like, seeing other influencers who and content creators and style um, influencers who have been posting things from Zara that I've really liked. And I was really disappointed when I went into Southampton Zara. I think it's just because it is a small branch, but they didn't have a lot of the things that I had seen and that had caught my eye online. If you are not subscribed to my channel, and you've never seen me before, <laughs> and you like style, particularly for the women over 50, please do subscribe to my channel. I do lifestyle, inspirational videos, style, and also travel. Without further ado, let's see what I picked up. I actually picked up about, I think, five, five pieces, including the dress I'm wearing. So this dress, I absolutely love. I ended up buying two of the same size in error. I was meant to buy a small and a medium and in the end I accidentally picked up two mediums. So one will be going back, this one will be going back, but I absolutely love it. It's so playful, the colour is nice, the fabric has texture. Now you might, if you if you get this dress, if you're fortunate enough to get this dress, if you like it, got to be careful. Now I actually thought it was like beading on the, on the fabric, but it's actually the stitching that makes it look like this. So it's um, kind of a pinky peach color. And then the stitching, can you see that? There you go. The stitching is what gives it the sort of gold detail and it's lovely so you've got an elasticated waistband you've got two tiers of the, um, the frill of the skirt and then across the bodice you've got elasticated puckering that is going on a diagonal makes it very interesting the sleeves are also very interesting um, elasticated sleeves but give a little slight puff um, and it's got a uh, a slit in the back. I absolutely love it, it's playful, um, you can wear it, you can style it with um, with boots, or you can style it with shoes, you can style it with trainers or converse, you can just really play around with it. I think it's a brilliant um, piece. Now this was on the reduced rail, it looks like it was reduced from $49.99 to $19.99 when I picked it up. Um, so it might not be available in your Zara. However, they have got dresses that are very similar to this style. So um, I might see if I can see something similar if I don't see it on, on the website and link it in the description bar below. Another purchase that I loved was this accordion pleat skirt. Now, a couple of years ago, I had another accordion pleat skirt, and I'm trying to think where I bought it from. I can't remember. I think it was actually Primark. Um, and it was a sort of um, knee length. It was quite playful. This one is longer length. So this one goes um, quite um, towards the ankle, between the calf and the ankle. And this is a polyester um, material, polyester. And um, I picked this up in a medium. Now, elasticated waist, I felt it could look better if I cinched it in with a belt, but I didn't have a belt to hand. So for you, you might just wear it without a belt, or you, like myself, might think it looks better cinched in. This can be worn with Converse, with boots, with shoes, and I teamed it up with the muscle t-shirt that, that is all the range at the moment, all the rage at the moment and you may have seen that in my previous Zara video um, and what I will do I will link that video and I'll put a card somewhere so that you can go and watch that as a recent video that I that I did um, this was $25.99 so very um, reasonable I think I would have preferred it if it had a a zip for me personally maybe a zip and a proper waistband but I think once 
as I said, once I style it with a belt and cinch it in, I think it could look quite nice. And you can use this, you know, you can wear this just running out to the shops or running errands, or you could dress it up and wear it for an evening out or going to brunch. Now, if you're looking for drama, if you're looking for glam, if you're looking for drag queen vibes or Diana Ross performance style clothes, then this is the piece. I absolutely love this. This is a wow piece, absolutely wow. So the top has got these dramatic, dramatic sleeves. I mean, you could wear this as a, if you was a cabaret act, you could actually wear this. But I actually love it. This, this says a lot about my style. <laughs> um, I tried it on and I said, yes, this is just like Ming the Merciless from Flash Gordon. I absolutely love it. So what you have here, you have a ribbed crossover top and it does, it does allow you to show some boobage. And then you've got these exaggerated sleeves. And I absolutely loved it. I paired it up with the leather look trousers. Um, and they were just, yeah, just, just amazing. Um, definitely is a dramatic piece. I would style this with heels. Um, the higher the heel, the better. <laughs> because this is a kapow outfit. Well, I think so anyway, you might disagree, but I think so anyway. So the, the bodice and the bodice of the, of the top is um, like a ribbed, ribbed fabric, stretchy ribbed fabric. And then these sleeves would, you could say, they're not organza, but they're sort of a polyester organza chiffon. Um, and they've got some wiring in the sleeves that gives it that, you know, gives it that firmness, that curl. And it's just, it's just lovely. Lovely, this has given me all the runway vibes. I really, really like it. And this is priced at $25.99. I got it in the size small. Maybe I could have got a medium, but I think the medium might have been a bit too big for me. But um, I love it. And the back is just plain. Look at that. <laughs> love these, love these, love these. These are a legging and they are suede. They've got zips in the ankle. Yeah, I didn't I actually didn't use these to try them on, but they've actually got zips in the ankle. And um, these remind me of of um, that sort of fabric that was a big rage in say 2000 or 1998, 1999, that type of, um, that type of, that, that era. Um, I love these, these were so comfortable to wear. I'm not sure, I, I think I could be in between a small and a medium but I think the medium is going to be too big if I go back into store and they have the medium I might pick a pair up so that I can try it for size but generally I think that um, Zara trousers come up quite big on me so I would I'm gonna I think the small is what I'm gonna have to keep but yeah they're, they're nice I like them I like them you can wear them with with heels but if you like you can wear them with um, I guess you could wear them with trainers as well and boots um, just see what works for you in, in this video I styled them with heels and I did like it but I will have a go and play at styling them with some flat shoes as well and these come in extra small small medium large extra large and extra extra large it's got a wide range of sizes in these um, $25.99 if I haven't said so already and the top that I was wearing when I style these that's not from Zara that's the top I picked up in The Hague in Holland um, I think maybe a year and a half And with heels, these are very, and with heels, these are very dressy. You can wear them out to movies. You can wear them to dinner. You can wear them out for brunch. Um, I think they're quite versatile, and I really like them. And this piece, 
this piece is a it's not quite mall it's a dark gray dress t-shirt dress but with three quarter length sleeves I was quite surprised actually I've had a few sort of t-shirty dresses from Zara and yes they can be quite comfortable but I get bored of them quite quickly but this one I think is really nice it's not as wide as the ones that I've had before so it's got a little bit more of a shape to it could really be a good staple as we're transitioning from summer into autumn and um, sleeves are um, three quarter length um, the dress itself was above the knee, um, but I thought it was quite comfortable. You could wear it with tights, you could wear it without tights. I chose to wear it with tights. Yeah, I styled it with my rucksack and some military style, um, military style boots. And these boots I had from Primark. I think I got them. I got them last year, and they're very comfortable. I think Zara actually did a boot like this um, last year. I didn't see it in there this year, but you never know, it might be something they bring back this autumn. So there you have it guys, these are my transitional pieces that will take you into autumn. I hope you like them, I love them, there are some items I'll definitely be keeping and there's maybe one or two that actually surprised me, I thought, I wasn't quite sure after I purchased it, I wasn't quite sure and I thought I'd be returning it but I think I might hold on to them. Um, there's quite a few things here that I will actually definitely be, be keeping and adding into my autumn wardrobe. So I'd love to know which piece was your favorite. Have you been out shopping, buying things that are transitioning you from the summer into the autumn? What colors are you looking for? What is your style? Remember, style is your own. So just be comfortable and find what works for you. Don't go with the labels as you're too old to wear this or too whatever, to wear whatever. Just go with what makes you feel comfortable and be maybe be a little bit um, adventurous and explore new styles as well. Um, and maybe you just have your favorites that you've been wearing, the style, type of style you've been wearing for years and maybe you just update it here and there with accessories or with coats or with boots and shoes, etc. But anywho, I am glad, I'm glad you joined me. Remember that I post videos about style, lifestyle, inspiration, travel, and sometimes I post a vlog as well. So if you like all of that kind of stuff, please do subscribe to my channel, put on the notification bell, and of course like and comment and share this video. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.